All right, let's have a look at question nine because um, yeah, this, this is, is getting a little bit hard. Um, might just go back to, to this one here, question A, first of all, it's the simplest one. So what are the values here? Now, I, I sort of covered that at the end of the, the last little tutorial on that about how we just sort of say, okay, well, look, the sine of 60 is equal to root 3 on 2, but, but this is minus. So where would root 3 on 2 be negative, give you a negative sign to do with 60 degrees? So here we can see, or 60 or pi on 3. So here we can see that occurs here in the third and fourth quadrants, which is actually 4 pi on 3 and 5 pi on 3. And there are two places that that occurs. And this part here is important because it's saying, look, our, our x values must fall between 0 and 2 pi. Well, they do. And if we want to go any further, we try to go around again, we'll exceed 2 pi. So that's the end. That's our answers at that point. What about this question here, though? So here we've got a similar sine of 2x, though, is equal to this. Well, again, we can look at this information and say, well, it's something to do with pi on 3. And we can use some of the information from, uh, from that first part. Um, and in doing that, we can see that we, this time we want it to be positive. So it's here. Um, there's our first pi on 3. And then there's our other pi on 3, which in reality is the angle 2 pi on 3. So both of those would give us root 3 on 2, the sign of both those, because that's positive. First quadrant, second quadrant, that's where sine is positive. So that's OK. But this problem, of course, didn't say x. It said 2x. So that's what we want. So uh, what do we have to do here? This is where the domain comes into play. Notice that x is between 0 and 2 pi. So down here, that's what we've written, x is between 0 and 2 pi. For 2x then, we would have, we just multiply, because x is multiplied by 2, we multiply all this by 2, we end up with that 0 being still 0, the x becoming 2x, but the 2 pi becomes 4 pi. Now that matters, because if we consider the 2x actually ranges between 0 and 4 pi, that means we go around the circle twice. So here we are here, and we're looking at an angle here and here. So um, did I do that right? No, I did not. Oh, quick, rub it out. Get rid of it all. Try again. I was thinking of part A, wasn't I? There's our angle. It's there and there. All right, that's pi on 3 to there. And then we keep on going, we get to 2 pi and 3. But because it's 4 pi, it means we keep on going around till we get to here again. So we've gone pi on 3 and all the way around. So we go pi on 3 plus 2 pi. And the same for this angle, we continue right around again, add 2 pi to it. So that means that for this, because it's between 0 and 4 pi, then that's one of our solutions in that, as we already found out. But also, 2 pi added onto that, because we go around again, which is the angle 7 pi on 3. This one here, the same thing, go around again, 8 pi on 3. We'll do another one in uh, the next video.